<laughs> oh my god! I, I, you know what? This uh, we're how did we get to where we are um, as a society? When did when did this become to us uh, uh, our reality? You know, I, I'm sure a bit of it can be pinned on our somewhat absent parenthood. Um, we were kind of given freedom that the past generations had never been given, and this is the result. Uh, we were made to believe that we could make the right choices, and look at what we've done. Uh, we've become a society of fucking animals. It's, 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 uh, this kind of bullshit makes me think that democracy as we know it just doesn't work. We've done it wrong. It's time yeah. to tear up the whole fucking uh, concept and start all over again. I, I don't know why we're clinging to this old French Latin bullshit anyway. Um, we should have come up with a new form by now on our own. Uh, we came up with metric. We should be able to come up with something like this. Um, but, uh, you know, your story last night really bugged me about the lady on the bus uh, because we've become a society that sits back and watches a woman murder an elderly man in cold blood, and we do nothing about it. Um, you know, we, we've collectively decided to go out of our way to avoid helping people, regardless of the circumstances, you know? Uh, uh, it, it, I, I, I expose myself to ridicule every time I, I offer to help an old lady across the street or I hold the door for someone. People laugh at me. People make fun of me for that. That's a, that's a, that's a joke now. When that, you, you used to be just courteous. You used to just do that kind of shit without thinking. Um, and I understand that we, we operate at a faster pace now, and maybe we can't always take the time that we used to take to help each other out. And that's, that's fine. Um, but uh, why, why can't we just take a little bit of consideration when the opportunity presents itself, you know? Uh, the, the entire concept of, like, neighborly doesn't exist anymore. And, and you, you think that that's fine, and it's me being a, 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 a yokel talking about this stuff, but no, this is what it leads to. It leads to people thinking this way. It, it starts off small, like, oh, we don't show each other courtesy anymore. And then it gets to, oh, we can behead a guy on a fucking Greyhound bus and sit there and watch and do nothing about it and, and come up with these ridiculous fucking ideas on our own, unchecked by anyone, and say things like these, these leaders of their, of their goddamn states are saying. How do we let this happen? What the fuck is wrong with us? Is everyone seriously as stupid as we joke about? I'm, I'm, I'm fed up with stuff like this. I can't believe grown men are saying things like that in public. Yeah. And I'm a full supporter of freedom of speech. I absolutely believe they, they have a right to think and say what they want to. But they shouldn't think in this way. It, it, this, it should never be an option that this kind of fucking garbage is in their heads. Nope. Shouldn't, but unfortunately, these are the people that are in charge. These are the people... Exactly. Yeah. Why are By the way, just to go on your statement about uh, Trump uh, and if he's ever been part of an abortion or whatever, he was asked directly by a, by a reporter, when he was a swinging bachelor in Manhattan, has he ever involved... Has he ever... Was he ever involved with anyone who had an abortion? His response, such an interesting question. So what's your next question? Yeah. And that's acceptable Such now. an interesting question. And that is an acceptable statement from the president. And, you know, God love him, this is, uh, this is the, the Bill Clinton era. Um, these are the kind of answers you get to give because of him. Um, that you get away with that kind of stuff. Now, he did, and every president since him has decided that's okay. We can sidestep you, things. We're not accountable. We don't, we, we don't have to answer questions. Um, the I didn't inhale defense works. The, the shaggy defense is acceptable. Yeah. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. I was mad about it when Clinton got away with it. I'm mad, madder than hell now that it, it, it still goes on. Because he effectively didn't get away with it. I mean, he got raked over the coals for years um, once he got exposed. Yeah, but, um, but now guys Cl just don't. Clinton didn't rape anybody, though. No, exactly. Clinton didn't rape anybody. Clinton didn't abort anybody. But he did um, abuse his office and and lie to his constituents about it. Yeah, 
and that I, I don't understand this uh, just being able to lie without reprieve I don't get how you once you get into that position you get to lie with indemnity to, about anything and everything and that's okay we all go oh all politicians are liars <laughs> no yeah. they run our what you, lives what do you expect that's, a, that's how they are yeah Oh, that's it's it's the boys will be boys will be boys fucking rhetoric. Yes, and look what happens when when you let boys be boys, they turn out to be rapists. Newsflash. That's right. Yep. Uh, did did anyone read read fucking Lord of the Flies? Uh, that's that's true. That would happen. That's exactly what would happen. Absolutely. Um, don't kid yourself. Boys are stupid and disgusting, and they need to be taught and whipped into shape like dogs. Yeah. Um, we're, we're terrible people. We, left to our own devices, we would eat each other alive. Um, left to our own devices, we create laws like these guys are doing. It's 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 absurd uh, to yep. think that... Uh, it's absurd now to think that this is working. It's not. We're falling apart. As a society, we're crumbling. Um, yep. Everything about it is wrong, and and collectively we're smart enough to realize that. I don't understand why we're not smart enough to do something about it. Um, you know, uh, more and more, the the Ted Kaczynskis of the world seem less and less crazy. Every yeah. every, every day, uh, the 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 uh, uh, Timothy um, Oklahoma McVeigh. Say, McVeigh uh, uh, these guys had it right. Who knew? Timothy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Tim knew. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm sure he's, he's laughing about it now. Right? <laughs> um, I, I, I'm going to play a little song here. I don't know what you do. Nope, I can't hear shit. No, that's good. Um, I'll send it to you. I said I'd do that last time and I didn't. Um, people think something has to change. I, I understand um, the majority of our listenership uh, currently is still in the U.S. Um, guys, listen to Eric and Gord here and, and take some advice. Uh, your country is a fucking joke. And uh, everyone in the world thinks so. You have to do something to fix it. You have to rein in the mullahs on these freaks. Um the, the, the Republican Party is... They don't even like themselves. Uh, no, real Republicans really. don't like what this what this farce of a, of a leadership is. Um, real Republicans shy away from it because these guys have don't have any Republican values in them. Um, Reagan must be rolling over in his grave that these people are running his old office. Uh, it, it's it's an embarrassment. And not only that, it's, it's detrimental to you. You think you, people are trying to bomb you now? Just wait until you turn on uh, crazy white women. I guarantee yeah. nothing scarier than a crazy white woman. Muslims don't hold a fucking candle to these people. No, that's very true. You know, you know why they oppress their women so badly? Because they know. They know what yeah. they would do if they didn't. Uh, I you know, I've you. always always said it. If, if I was a woman and I was running a country, Missiles anytime would be shaped somebody differently? would ask me, what's that? Missiles would be shaped differently? Doubtful. <laughs> they probably vibrate more, though. <laughs> um, but if I was a woman and I was running a country, and if anybody ever attempted to start shit with me in my country, if I was a woman, I the first thing I would say at the press conference. So, what do you think about this? I think it's fine. Yeah. Because as soon as you say that, the whole world would be like, "Oh fuck, it's war! Exactly. Oh god!" <laughs> Exactly. She said eyes. it's fine. Just those eyes. It'd be the, the only time where people would come out and have a press conference and not say anything for 45 minutes. Yeah, it'd just be utter silence. Well, you should just fear. know. You should just know. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't already know, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, oh, God. The UN would just turn into an hour long argument about people's shoes. Did you see her shoes? My God. <laughs> right. I don't know how you know, I once told, Libya I told no my shoes. girlfriend when we first when my girlfriend and I first got to like actually like became a couple one of the things that we I talked to her about I said look those words saying like you know it's fine 
or do whatever you want. Those things, I said, they don't work with me. Yeah. You say the words, I'm taking your word as bond. That's just that simple. I said, so if you turn to me and you say, that's fine, understand, you have nothing to argue with me about later. Yep. You Ooh. lost your argument. I said, so if you're not happy with something, if you don't want me to do something, whatever it might be, I said, you need to say specifically, don't do that. Say what you mean. Because otherwise I will. Say what you mean, mean what you say. I just finished explaining yep. that to the incredibly beautiful, wonderful girl that I am trying to uh, court uh, currently. Um, it, it's easy, and you'd be amazed what it does for a relationship. In any relationship. It's not just as a couple. In any relationship. Say what you mean, mean what you say. It's harder than it sounds, but it uh, makes things infinitely easier. At every turn, yep. uh, it, uh, you right. avoid a hell of a lot of confusion, and maybe we get to a point where we can start rebuilding some semblance of a goddamn humane society again. And uh, let me just say, if if you ever see anyone attempting to murder me on a bus, please get up and help. I promise you, I'll do the same for you. Absolutely. Why are we not helping each other anymore? Why are we in a place where a guy can sit on Granville Street? For eight hours, dead. And nobody notices. Nobody stopped to see if this guy was breathing for eight fucking hours. Uh, this is not a human society. This is not, and I, I'm not religious. I'm not uh, a part of any uh, organization or affiliation or anything. This is just people being people. Even goddamn animals check up on each other. Yeah, right. We have turned into savages. To the point where it's perfectly acceptable to throw a man off a bus and kill him because you don't like the thing he said to you. Are you fucking kidding me? Is this what we're teaching kids? That that's okay? Pretty much. Yeah. Come on. Well, what are we doing? How, Eric, all I gotta say is how many times do we have to keep going back to my statement? Need to eliminate people. This is not, I think a good place to start is just to wipe off America off the fucking map. That's you know, a good place to start. You know what? I, uh, I really got to get on board with that idea. I have nothing against the American people. American people, if you want to join in and help us with this, your leadership needs to be dismantled um, today. It's, uh, I, where are my goddamn militia groups from the 90s? Uh, now is your time to mobilize and do what you said you were going to do. Y'all talk about guns. Y'all talk about your protection. The reason why you're allowed to have guns is in case for a corrupt government. You've it's, never done it. It's necessary now. It's it's the, the it's not even the corruption anymore. It's the goddamn stupidity, the blatant disregard for human life at this point. Um, I don't care which conspiracy theory you subscribe to. They're all coming true in one way or another fucking figure it out do something about it god damn it don't let it happen yeah don't just sit, sit idly by and be like ah well that's just the way it is it's not it doesn't have to be even if it was something that came true maybe the the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers are running the show and everything is working out just the way we all fucking said it would don't let it happen <clears throat> no god damn it throw a rock it's the hundredth anniversary of the big uh, labor strike in in Winnipeg. Uh, my aunt, my my aunt sent me a, a thing about it. It was fascinating. Uh, stand up, strike, fight. The, do what your fucking rap songs tell you to do. For fuck's sake. Yeah. Take them seriously. The people who wrote them died. I'm not saying you should yeah. die. I don't want anybody to die. But your government needs to be dismantled, and and ours uh, uh, shortly thereafter. Although our, ours will will cower and run and do whatever we tell them to, um, yours will probably try to fight you uh, on it, and you'll have to kill them. Um, but uh, when you're done with them, feel free to come back here. And hey, we we fucking burnt down the White House once. I got no, I don't understand why we were hesitant to do it again. They were a hell of a lot bigger and stronger then than they are now, comparatively. Um, oh yeah. Uh, I think you and I could march into the White House and burn it down now. I don't think it'd take that much of an effort. Um, but we did it once. Let's do it again. Why not? Get rid of these people. 
and I'm just saying kill.